Hello friends, this video on soil part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, I think we have covered uh, a lot of things about soil, their types, their structure, how they are important in crop cultivation. So now we are going to talk about some serious issues related to soil. So one such important issue is soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? It is the washing away of upper layers of soil by wind or water. Now while we were talking about the soil profile, we saw that soil is actually a multi-layered, has a multi-layered structure. And we saw that the upper layers are rich in organic matter, minerals, nutrients which are needed for the plant's growth and development. Especially the O and A layers are very rich in mineral content. In fact, the B layer also has some minerals. But after B layers, you really do not have any minerals. Now what happens is when there is heavy rainfall or a heavy wind, it is it often happens that the upper layers of soil get washed away. Now when will it get washed away? When it is not tightly bound. So when there is nobody to hold back the soil, then it will get carried away by heavily flowing water or wind. And when it gets washed away, what happens? It is a disaster because we are actually losing the most important layers of soil. The most important layer of soil which is rich in all the nutrients, which is rich in all the minerals. So we do not want to lose that because if we are losing that, we are actually losing that part of the soil because of which crops are able to grow. Correct? So it is something which is not desirable but it is happening. Now the question is why is it happening? Why is soil being carried away by water? Because there is nobody to hold it tightly. Who do you think will have will be so ideal to hold back the soil? Not human beings, but yes, trees can do that because if you see the roots of the trees, they are like firmly attached to the soil. So basically the roots of the trees can actually hold the soil tightly. So even if there is very heavy rainfall, the roots will not allow the soil to get washed away by wind or water. So that's how if we have more and more trees that can prevent soil erosion from taking place. So let us quickly look at the harmful effects of soil erosion. What all can happen if the upper layer of soil gets washed away? The first disaster is that we are losing the valuable top soil because this top soil, the top layers of soil, these are rich in minerals. This is rich in humus. This is rich in nutrients and we are losing this layer. So that, that in itself is a huge loss. Adversely affect plant growth. Now when we have lost all this, so obviously plants will not grow properly because plants need all these. Plants need minerals, humus, nutrients, everything. So when that is only not there, so how will plants grow properly? Soil quality degrades because the soil quality is all about the content of O, A, B layers. Now when those layers are itself lost, so obviously the soil quality will also become poor. Cause pollution of nearby water bodies. Now this layer of soil which is being carried away by the water, it finally ends up reaching the nearest water body, maybe the nearest pond or the nearest river. Now what happens is in order in order to have better growth of crops, we often spray insecticides, pesticides or some chemicals to the soil. So now these chemical mixed soil reaches the river. So it, it is going to pollute the entire river water or the pond water. So that means it, it is not only harmful for the plants but it is also harmful for the nearby water bodies because the entire water is getting polluted. Therefore all the living organisms, the fishes, insects, whoever is living inside the water, they, for them also it is harmful because the entire water became toxic. And it has been seen that greater is the intensity of rain or wind, higher is the potential of erosion. So the more ch the the higher the intensity of rain, higher is the chances of erosion to take place. Now, since the harmful effects of soil erosion are huge, so it is very important that we try to prevent soil erosion. So how can we do that? Very simple way. That is stop deforestation. What is deforestation? Deforestation is the process of cutting down trees for our own benefit like cutting down trees maybe to set up factories in that area, maybe to, uh, to design furnitures, maybe to have uh, human settlements in that area. So because of many uh, 
reasons because of many selfishness of human beings a lot of trees get cut down so many forests get cleared so that is called deforestation so if we keep doing that we are actually reducing the number of trees so if there are no trees there is there is no one to hold the soil during heavy rain or heavy wind wind but we know we want somebody to hold the soil so for that purpose we need to plant more and more trees more the number of trees less are the chances of soil erosion because the roots of the plants will actually firmly hold the soil and therefore it will not allow the layers of soil to get washed away with wind or water so soil erosion was one important aspect related to soil which needs to be taken care Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.